If you're here trying to find photos of an actress acting like a perfectly normal human being in various states of attire, especially if you're here to share those photos with somebody else, then you're part of what's wrong with this world. Details after the title card! It is Monday, September 1st, Paul Talkers. I woke up from a nap on Sunday to find the internet covered in references to stolen photos of Jennifer Lawrence being spread around the internet. And I got furious. Let me be clear if you didn't pick up on what I just said. Those aren't leaked photos. Those are stolen property that a thief stole from someone and spread around the internet through the help of accomplices. So here's how I see her photos. I see them as evidence of a perfectly fine and normal human being doing perfectly fine and normal human being things. I see the reaction on the internet being full of problems. Fortunately, not most of the people that I follow on Twitter. Thank you all of the decent-minded people that I follow on Twitter. But there are lots of problems that I'm seeing in various reactions, and I want to go over a few of those problems. Body shaming is one of those problems. It's great that most people are not attacking Jennifer Lawrence over her appearance. But by saying that at least she looks a certain way in these photos, you are A, glassing over the fact that she's the victim of a theft, and B, you are implying that somehow things would be worse if she were not the pretty, not too skinny, not too fat, white woman that she is. It would not be worse, it would be horrible to all types of people. The existence of her body, just like all of us have bodies, does not excuse stealing and sharing her private photos of herself. But then there's sex shaming. I am seeing some commentary about how she's slutty or otherwise not respectable because she had those photos of herself on her phone and in her iCloud. Really? It doesn't matter why she had those photos. As long as she wasn't doing anything illegal inside of those photos, like including someone without their consent, then she could have had those photos for any reason. She could have been sending them to everybody in her phone book. She could have been sharing them with just the person that she's attracted to or dating or sleeping with. She could have sent them to her mom just to say, hey mom, what's up? This is what I look like right now. It does not matter why she had those photos. The existence of any photos of her, no matter how conservative or not conservative those photos might be, does not excuse stealing and sharing her personal, private photos of herself. Victim blaming. So if she's done nothing wrong, why would anybody be attacking her? Even in my Twitter feed, I'm seeing people unknowingly blaming her. They're saying things like, she shouldn't take those photos, or she shouldn't have them on her phone, or she shouldn't have them in the cloud, or she should have better protection, or better passwords, or whatever. All saying things that she should have done not to be the victim of a robbery? That's bullshit. Since she didn't choose to bear herself to anybody else, her being exposed via those photos to the general public is like if she were walking in public and someone came up to her and ripped off her clothes. It is the same thing. It is sexual assault. Hat tip to the person on Twitter who first used that phrasing, but that's what it is. And she should not be held accountable for being the victim of a sexual assault that just happens to be digital instead of physical. I hope that she's able to put this behind her. I hope she takes a million more photos of herself in whatever state of attire she wants and just looks at them and loves them and has them on her phone, on her computer, on her cloud. I hope she takes tons of them because we as a society need to like our own bodies. We need to stop listening to people saying that we shouldn't like our bodies just because it's dressed a certain way or because it's doing a certain thing or because it doesn't fit a particular mold. F all of that. I hope she takes more and does whatever she wants with them. And if she accidentally texts me one of her photos that is perhaps not conservatively tired, do you know what I'm gonna do with that photo? I will immediately text her back saying, hey, do you want me to delete this? And then I will do whatever she wants me to do with that photo. Cause I'm not a criminal or a sucky human being. This is a theft. Jennifer Lawrence was robbed of something that is important and personal to her, probably has sentimental value, and that thing that was stolen from her was then shared with the public, and then people in the public took that thing which did not belong to them, and then shared it with more people. If you are being an accessory after the fact to this theft, I am disgusted by you. And yes, that includes all the news organizations. If you want to say, this piece of news happened, great. Kudos for doing your job. If you want to share the photos that are themselves the objects of this theft, even with sensor bars on them, then fuck you! You are contributing to the same theft! And if you see this shared photo, then you report it to that platform's authorities. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Flickr, Google+. You, you flag it as a compromise of the user agreement because every single user agreement says, do not use this platform for crime. And it does not matter what you think of Jennifer Lawrence or what you think of how she was dressed. The fact that it happened was a crime. You should be attacking the criminals, not attacking the victim of the crime. 
No matter what you think of what's going on, nothing excuses taking someone's personal, private photos and then sharing them with other people. Finally, the part which legally may not be the biggest deal, but I think morally is the biggest deal, and that is the invasion of privacy here. Your privacy should be something that only you get to choose to give up. She should be afforded the same amount of privacy and respect for that privacy as any other person in this country. In fact, really the world, but definitely in this country. Being forcibly exposed to everyone is cruel and inhumane, and it's considered so by pretty much everybody except for those parts of Hollywood and the entertainment industry which, you know, profit off of and want to perpetuate the rape culture. But that sucks for lots of reasons, not just this one. And this privacy is a thing that techie nerds claim to value when their privacy is at stake because NSA is wiretapping. But as soon as someone's stealing stuff off of a person's phone and then sharing nudes of women, where's the vehemence? Where's the ire? Where's Anonymous and 4chan coming out and saying, fuck those hackers, we're gonna get them. Has, has that happened? Has that, have they done that? We all deserve to have our privacy respected. Being in the entertainment industry does not excuse having your private personal photos stolen and shared with the world at large. Now some smart ass might respond with, well, this isn't the first time this has happened, why didn't you get mad all the other times? I did get mad all those other times. I got mad at every female celebrity's photos that were taken without her consent and shared. I've gotten mad about male celebrities' photos that were stolen and shared with the public at large. There's a difference between women's scandalous photos being shared and men's scandalous photos being shared. The difference is, the woman's career might be at stake. But time and time again, stuff like this has, in fact, hurt female celebrities' chances of doing things. As far as I know, it's never hurt a single male celebrity's chances of doing anything. Their privacy shouldn't be compromised either, but it doesn't seem to hurt their ability to make a living. Now, not everybody has to fight everything, not everybody has to be an activist about everything, but I, I would really like it if you left this video with two action items. First action item, don't support the crime by being an accessory to it. Don't share those photos, don't let those pass in front of you without you reporting whoever shared it. And two, don't blame the victims. Support the victims. So that's my rant, but if you came to this video looking for not safe for work photos, let me help you out. Take a screenshot of this. You're welcome. For the rest of you, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you support what I said, please give me a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe below. If you want to share this video, please do. You have my consent to share it all over. If you have any questions, comments, and suggestions, leave them below. If you're a commenter who's coming here to be an apologist for the assholes, or to be a sexist in some fashion, or to derail this in some fashion, don't even bother because I'm gonna ban you from the channel. If nothing else, tell me something that matters to you because I want to know what matters to you. As always, thank you for watching and I sure hope tomorrow will be even better.